Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hi, Daisy. Um, and the rest, everybody, we have Miguel Angel today, Boris, Noemi, Alicia, Serena, Ivette. Uh, Erika Maybel. Hi, Selina. We have uh, Ana Filomena, Denis Isaias, Iris Regina. Uh, well, more people are joining. Okay, so the names are getting all uh, mixed. But yeah, we have a we have a lot of students today. Well, um, let's begin. I'm going to oops, I'm going to share the screen with you. Which is this one right here. And as usual, I'm going to be calling the attendance list. Um, let's begin. Okay, everybody, welcome once again. When you hear your name, please let me know. Number one, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez. Okay, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Okay, thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea, sorry, Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Recinos. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Recinos. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. We have a chat entry here. Andrea Michelle says, Garcia Selva, okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martin Salinas Quintanilla. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Selina Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gómez. Present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. He's here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Eraivin Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank, good evening. Thank you. Maritza Isabel Mendez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I'm just calling the names of those who didn't respond. One more time. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Present. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. No. Nope. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. 
Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, good evening. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be calling the attendance uh, at the end of the class. So uh, I'm going to start. Just a second. Okay, we still have one more exercise to finish unit two, and today we start unit three. So um, just do me a favor. Can you tell me if you can see the, pic the, the, the screen I'm sharing, please? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks for confirming. So we have this listening activity, which is summer jobs. Oh, just a moment. Okay, so um, here we go. It's uh, summer jobs. Listen to Carlos, Paul, and Julia talk about their summer jobs. Where does each person work? write the name under the picture instead of this because you don't have the picture right here we're going to do the next exercise which is here you have the three people carlos paul and julia okay so this is what i want you to do it's a knowledge check i'm going to play the track once and i want you to answer the questions so the first one is what kind of job does carlos do the second one what kind of job does julia do number three what kind of job does paul do so you have to tell me the job they do, okay? The name of the job. And who doesn't like what they do and why? Who doesn't like his or her job and why? You have to give me the name and also you have to give me a reason. Okay, so I'm going to play the track once. I want you to listen, pay close attention. And after that, please, uh, I'll ask for volunteers to give me the answers to this. So if you need to take notes, please do so. Let's do it. So where are you working this summer, Carlos? By the way, can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you, yes, thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. Siempre pido confirmación porque ya me ha pasado que lo pongo y ahí me dicen, teacher, no hay nada. <laughs> y no estaba compartiendo sonido. So, I'm going to play it from the beginning. So, everybody, please listen and take notes. So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full-time? Yeah. Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, do you have the answers or do you need to listen to it one more time? One more time. Okay. One more time, they say. Okay, I'm going to play it for the last time and then we're going to check answers. Here we go. So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. 
Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full-time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, so number one, I need a volunteer, so if you have the answer, raise your hand. What kind of job does Carlos do? Katia Graciela and then Noemi Alicia. Uh, tutors to learning for kids. Okay, yeah. He's or a tutor, tutor for kids. He's a tutor for kids. That's right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, okay. Um, Noemi, do you have number two? What kind of job does Julia do? Uh, telemarketing agent. She's a telemarketing agent. Okay, yeah, that's right. She works for a telemarketing company. Thank you very much. That is correct. Nadia y Solina, do you have number three? What kind of job does Paul do? He's an assistant chef. Assistant to the chef, okay, or a chef assistant. That is correct. Very good. Thank you very much. And the last one, who doesn't like what they do and why? Who doesn't like the job? And why doesn't this person like the job? Raise your hand if you have the answer, please. Okay, Katia, well, what Katia has already participated. I want to hear what, what Boris has to say, but thank you, Katia. Thank you very much. So sorry. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. It's good. I like, I like it that, you know, you want to participate. Boris, who doesn't like what they do and why? Paul doesn't like. He doesn't like his job, but why not? Because it's pretty hard. Um, he had to uh, cut everything that in the kitchen are. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He had to wash the dishes too. <laughs> okay, good. Because it's really hard work. He has to wash everything, including the dishes. He has to chop all the vegetables. And, and what is the problem with the kitchen? There's another problem. Do you remember? Um, I mean, everything you said no. is correct. Everything you said is correct. But there is another problem about the kitchen. Who knows? Raise your hand. Ana Filomena. It's really hot. It's really hot. Okay, yeah, that's the other problem. So what Bori said and also Filomena said is good. So Paul doesn't like his job because it's really hard work. He has to chop everything. He has to do the dishes, wash the dishes, right? And also it's really hot in the kitchen. Okay, so that's why he doesn't like his job. Okay, very good. And with that exercise, we finish unit two or section number two. There it is. And now I'm going to, or we are going to, hmm, give me a moment, uh, check section number three. We're going to begin, of course. We cannot really finish, but at least that's where we go. Just a moment. Today's... Give me a second. Okay, that's it. 
All right. So everybody, welcome once again. This is Inglés Pre Avanzado Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number six, and today is March 7, 2023. So uh, we're going to begin unit three, also known as uh, part number three or section number three in the um, online platform. Okay, so let's begin with this. Could you do me a favor? That's the name of this. Snapshot, that's the first part. Favors people dislike being asked, okay? Normally people, you know, they come and they ask you for favors, but sometimes we don't like the favors. Sometimes the favors are difficult to do, okay? For example, take a look at this. Favors people dislike being asked. Could you let me use your car? That's a favor, right? And most people don't like this favor. I don't like this favor. Nobody has ever asked me, but if somebody told me, hey, can I use your car? I will probably say, um, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's a favor that I wouldn't like to be asked. Okay, so that's that's one. I remember a long time ago, but this is a long, long, long time ago, many years ago, I was working as a teacher, right? And uh, I had a small projector. It wasn't a big projector like an Epson or something. No, it was very small. It was a pocket projector that I used for my classes in the classroom. So I was using it. And one day somebody asked me, hey, can you lend me your projector? And I was like, um, no, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to use it. So th that's the kind of favor that I really don't like. There's a chat entry right here. Ana Yanira, I apologize. Okay. Okay, please take my attendance. All right, totally. Ana Yanira, don't worry. Your attendance has been taken and registered. Thank you very much. Okay, so what about the second one? You have drive me to the airport. Okay, I have a question. Have you ever driven a person to the airport? Ana Filomena, I can, I can, I can see Ana Filomena. She's nodding. She's like going, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Do you like it when they ask this favor from you? Why not, Ana? Because of the traffic, teacher. Because of the traffic. Yeah, the yes. traffic. You know, it's very go. hard mm -hmm. to yeah. drive to the place of Salvador to Iowa. Mm -hmm. Depends on the time, but yeah, okay. Drive yes, to the because airport. if you go uh, 4 a.m., mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. But uh -huh. if you go 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also the problem is when you come back to San Salvador. The yes. traffic can be really bad. Okay, so, Very well. Hard. Yeah, totally. So when they say, drive me to the airport, ah, that's a difficult favor to do. But I guess sometimes we need to do it. Boris wants to participate. Uh, I think that depends, teacher, if the people uh, say, say to me that uh, he's going to invite me to Olocuilta, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Okay, if they take you to eat pupusas in Olocuilta, it's easy, you can do it. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> okay, I agree with you, by the way. Okay, I totally agree. If they tell me, we're going to Olocuilta for some pupusas. Okay, no problem, I'll drive you there. Okay. <laughs> There's a chat entry right here. Uh, Andrea Geraldine. Okay, Andrea, your attendance has been taken. All right, so the next one, lend me some money. Ooh, that's another favor that is difficult. Okay, is it difficult for you to lend money? Raise your hand if you want to share your experience, please. Nobody wants to talk about it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, well, lend, lending money, nobody likes that, okay? Usually, I mean, I don't mind if I have to lend one, two, three, five dollars, that's okay, but when they ask me like for, lend me $50, mm, <laughs> I don't like it. So, um, who was raising their hand? It was uh, Maritza, Maritza, did you want to participate? Maritza? Uh, can you hear Maritza? Because I can't. I don't know if it's me. 
the microphone is active, but I can't hear you. Pueden escuchar a Maritza usted. Yo no puedo. No, no, no teacher. Okay. No. Apparently, there's a problem, Maritza, because we can't hear you. Sorry. But the microphone is on. So I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Maritza. But if you uh, have something you would like to share with us, you can put it in the chat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, now we can hear you. Okay, Maritza. Okay, okay. can you can you say it? Uh huh, Maritza. In this moment, yes. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, only, only said we are very generous. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't. I don't, don't dislike. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't dislike lending people money. Okay, good, good. Can can you lend me fifty dollars? No, I'm kidding. Totally kidding. No, 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 no. All right. So that's the idea. So lend people money. Okay. Well, some people like it, some people don't like it, and I guess it depends on who is asking for the money and how much money they want. Okay, because if they tell me like, can you lend me five hundred dollars? I will say like, no, absolutely not. Sorry. Okay. What about the next one? The next one is, could you lend me your hair brush? Mm, what do you think? Can you do this? Noemi, Alicia. No, this is personal. It's personal. Okay, yeah, yes. totally. Yeah, you say like, go to Dollar City. You can find one in $3. <laughs> okay, very cheap. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very cheap. So you just go get yours. Okay. So yeah, totally. I agree with you. No, I mean, I, I believe that the hair brush is, is, is personal. So you should probably yes. not go around lending it. So, you know, that's the thing. Okay. Um, what about this one? Could you take care of my pet while I'm away? Like this person goes on vacation and they give you their dog or their cat for one week, for example. Nadia wants to participate. In my case, I, I love the animals, but okay. I don't, I can do it this. This favor. Okay, yes, why, I, why not? I can. It's more responsibility. Too much responsibility. Okay, it's I see. Too much. Okay, yeah, I agree. Dennis wants to participate. Uh, in my personal opinion, take care um, any animal is is less difficult and then um, do it um, anything else. Okay, so it's it's not so difficult in the end. So if a friend of yours tells you, hey, Dennis, can you take care of my cat for a week? Will you do it? For sure. Okay, for sure. All right, very good. Uh, you love animals. Do you have a pet, Dennis? Yeah, I have um, a dog and, and two kitties. A dog and two kitties. Okay, all right, sounds good. All right, great. Okay, uh, in my case, I will say no, okay? Not because I don't like animals. I like animals, but it's too much of a responsibility, okay? Uh, if something wrong, if something bad happens, it's my it's my fault, my responsibility in the end. Jenny Elizabeth, what's your opinion? In my opinion, I don't like the pets. You don't like the pets? I like, oh. I like the pets, but no ah okay so you like pets but only you only your pets yeah uh -huh. okay they are very noisy okay they can be noisy mm -hmm. yeah i understand so okay so you you only like your own pets you don't like the pets of other people okay totally what about this favor hey, this favor soy culpable yo okay could you help me move into my new apartment? When a person tells you, oh, okay, I need to move into a different house or I need to move into a different apartment. Can you help me? Do you like that? Erika Maidel. Mm, yes, I like help her uh, other person when move. Okay, all right. I admire you. I, I, okay. I admire you totally. <laughs> 
<laughs> because this is this is very difficult. Okay, I don't okay. like to do it. In my life, I have had to move twice, <clears throat> twice, and I'm going to have to move again in one month. Ah. And moving, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult things a person can do. You know, taking <laughs> all your things from one house to another house is just horrible. Just horrible. <laughs> but I have asked a friend of mine to help me move my things, and it was very tiring for him. So, but it's necessary help. It is, nece uh, it is necessary. Or you yeah. need to pay, you know, <laughs> for a service. <laughs> but, yes. Okay, Alejandro mm -hmm. wants to participate. Thank you, Erica. I recommend you live light. Is mm -hmm. correct? To, yes. live, to live, I mean, not to have many things. Yes, not to have many things. Live okay. light. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Th thanks for thanks for the piece of advice. But uh, it's it's easier <laughs> said than done. You know, uh, we don't we accumulate a lot of things. Okay, and uh, yeah. something that I have observed is when when people say, "I don't have many things," ha, huh, that's what you think. Okay, when you <laughs> you realize that you have a lot of things, but a yes. lot of things that you have no idea. So that happened to me this last time when I had to move. I said, "Well, I don't have so many things." But the day that I moved out of the house, <laughs> it was a horrible day. But horrible, yeah, horrible day. Funny. But yeah, it's, but okay. it's, it's good <laughs> advice. Thank you, Alejandro. Yeah. Okay. So what about this one? I don't like this one, especially now because I'm a teacher. Could you let me borrow your homework? Like, give me your homework so I can copy your homework. Do you like this favor? Dennis. Uh, in, in my case, uh, I don't have uh, any problem uh, with uh, doing this. Doing this. Okay, so you can say, I don't mind. That's just an expression. When you don't have a problem with doing something, you can say, I don't mind. Just like that. Okay. Now, in my case, I have a problem, <laughs> but this is very personal because I believe it's my effort and I don't like it when another person just takes my effort and copies it. Okay, but it's it's a personal opinion. Boris. Well, in my case, I don't mind too, teacher, because uh, the purpose of this class is to learn English. And if someone had a difficult, I think that everybody can help to try to mm -hmm. understand it. Mm -hmm. the statement or, or the, the subject mm -hmm. okay okay yeah totally right the, the idea is to learn but uh, to be honest with you um right now i have this opinion but when i was very young when i was in high school that was 21 years ago a long long time ago um i did this a lot Okay, I lent my homework to classmates and i also borrow you know homework from other classmates and copied it when i was in high school yeah I cheated a lot. Okay, I, I I wasn't very honest to be on well to be honest with you right now. But now uh, my perspective has changed because now I'm a teacher. Okay, so as a teacher, uh, <laughs> uh, I I, prefer, I like it when when I can see that my students have made an effort. Okay, but when I see that my students have copied uh, what another person has done, then I need to talk to them. But yeah, it's all a matter of preference. Okay, um, I, I will be a little bit hypocritical if I say that I have never done it. I have done it before too. <laughs> Nadia. And I sign days. I, I have seen a video when a young man in the exhibition is in the class say that his part and don't work, didn't didn't know the work. Mm -hmm. And in my <laughs> um I it's a very fun for me the first time, but it's a situation situation is very serious and mm -hmm. and then I admire uh, admire su valentia admire. admire okay all right okay all right so okay so you you admire the honesty of this person are you a teacher Nadia. No, no, it's a, a it's, it's a video. A, it's a video in ah, the okay. in the internet. Okay. 
All right. And in, in, the, in this video, in two part, the that girl uh, say yes. Uh, I I go to the beach and I I don't know work and it's not good. Okay, interesting video. Okay, I think I'm going to look for it. <laughs> so well, um, thank you, Nadia. And the last favor here. Let me stay at your place, at your house, okay, for a while. Imagine a friend comes and tells you, hey, can you let me stay in your house for one month? Do you like this favor? Would you permit it? Or would you say, no, sorry? Okay, I don't know. It depends on you. In my case, um, I will do it to help my friend. But the problem is that my house is very small. So that's the problem. The problem is not the favor. The problem is the space. Jenny Elizabeth. In my case, I don't mind. I don't mind. Is that correct? It, it's a bit difficult to understand because your your microphone sounds muffled. Sounds like sounds, sounds like this. Sounds like this. So it's it's a little difficult to understand. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, so you don't like I this. I like to. Huh? I like to help other people. Okay, you like to help other people. Okay, so probably this is not easy to do, but you like to help other people, so you will do it. Yeah. Okay, all right, sounds good. Um, I once met a girl. She was a friend of mine who had a friend. My friend had a friend. And uh, it, two girls, right, in this case. So uh, this girl, for some reason, didn't have a place to stay. So my friend told her, hey, listen, why don't you stay in my house for a few days, okay, while you find a place? So she went to her house, and it was supposed to be just a few days, but she stayed, like, for more than a year, for more than one year right there, not working, not doing anything, just living in that place for free, okay, so... And the thing is that in the house, nobody wanted to tell this girl, hey, listen, it's time for you to go. Okay, find a job, find a place, because nobody wanted to do that. It's difficult to say that. But yeah, this, this person did this, and it was a terrible situation. So let me stay at your place for a while. So again, you have the snapshot right here. Favors people dislike being asked. Let me use your car. Drive me to the airport. Lend me some money. Lend me your hair brush. Take care of my pet while I'm away. Help me move into my new apartment. Let me borrow your homework and let me stay at your place for a while. What is another favor or what other favors do you dislike being asked? What are some other favors that you don't like when they ask them from you? Who wants to participate? If, if Okay, Nadia. Uh, I don't like to take care of a child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that I agree. I agree with you. Say like, hey, listen, this is your child, it's your responsibility. But I will make exceptions. If it's, for example, a nephew of mine or a niece of mine, and I just have to take care of them for like two hours, one day, like eh, once in a blue moon, I will I will say, Yeah, no problem. Okay. But if I have to take care of them like all the time, like every day or every week, like for several hours, I will probably say, Hey, listen. <laughs> I have other things to do. Okay, Daisy. I dislike um, when the people say me, let, let me your hairbrush. Your hairbrush. I like don't like. This one, let me your hairbrush. This is what you don't like. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, definitely. I guess this is more common, you know, among women. Okay, because men, well, we just brush our hairs in the house, okay? Women, they carry their brushes around. Okay, so, um, okay. Any other favor that you dislike being asked? Thank you, Daisy. Any other favor? Katia. <laughs> I don't like when the people uh, uh, mm, mm, the mm, the password of Netflix. Ah, when they ask you for the password of Netflix. Give me the password of Netflix. Yes. <laughs> My friend. Is that it's seven dollars a month? Password. Yes. 
<laughs> I say, you know, my passport is it's seven ninety nine a month. Okay, that's my password. <laughs> yes, it's a... that's my password. Okay, yeah. Five dollars for a month. It's it's ten it's ten ninety nine for full definition, full high definition, four K. Okay, that's my password. That's what I said. Yes, you should. No, you know, uh, <laughs> some some people think I'm weird because of this, but another favor that I don't like in particular is when I have food, and I'm eating my food, and a person tells me, "Can I have a little?" I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. I don't do this to people. I never ask for food. I never say, "Hey, can you give me some of what you're eating?" No, I never do this, and I don't like it when they ask me the same thing. So when I'm eating something, it's my food. So if a person says, hey, can, can I have a little bit? I'm like, mm, I give it to them, but I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, any other favor that you dislike? Jenny Elizabeth? Uh, for me, I don't like when the people, when the people say, hey, wait a few, a few minutes, and they take a long time. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, just a minute and then a minute is 20 yeah. minutes oh yeah 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 i don't okay. like that absolutely <laughs> okay boris and then they say thank you jenny well uh, when i was living with my relatives uh, mm -hmm. i don't like when my sister uh, told me hey please keep an eye on the kitchen uh, i go i go mm. out <laughs> and maybe i was uh, watching tv uh -huh. <laughs> after all the, the food was burned. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. That's something that I don't like either. Daisy? I dislike mm, when the people ask, ask it, mm -hmm. could you let me use your, your motorcycle? Your motorcycle? Do you have a motorcycle? Yes, I have a okay. motorcycle. And okay. I dislike, wow. could you let me your motorcycle? Wow. I okay. Like yeah. Yeah. I understand. I don't, my, I don't have a motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle. Absolutely. You, you paid for it. Okay. It's expensive. It's like a car. Okay. You don't, you don't want to lend your car. You don't want to lend your motorcycle. Okay. Thank you. Dennis. Well, I really dislike when my mom's uh, asked, asked me to to go to the to the store for for buying something okay all right okay so you don't like it when your mom sends you to the store okay yeah i didn't like it either but on the other hand it's necessary right <laughs> sometimes you need it now it's now it's a different story now um for example um here in my house because i'm married now so my in my house they say like we don't have soap so i have to go to the supermarket and then i come back and they tell me, sorry, I forgot. We need detergent for the floats. <sighs> then I have to go to the supermarket again. <laughs> okay, so that's something that I don't like. Uh, we have a chat entry. Nadia Isolina says, I don't like to lend books. Oh, yeah, I understand. You know, the problem with lending books is that they never come back. Yeah, they're prideful. You know, the books, they're prideful. If you lend them, they don't return. <laughs> Alejandro Quintanilla. So I think that when people ask for a for a book, uh -huh. in my opinion, in my uh -huh. personal opinion, I that I do is buy one to give them. Okay, it's a nice it's yeah. a nice thing to do for for the person. Yeah. Expensive but nice. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, books, but it's, books it's, can be expensive. It's, 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 yeah, but it's knowledge that people need. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a it's a I don't know. Yeah, it's a nice it's thing to do. It's my yeah. way, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. I, I need a book, yeah. by the way. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, it's a joke. It's a joke. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is like therapy. Everybody's participating. <laughs> okay. Boris says, it's the same for tools. Ah, uh, yeah. It's the same for tools. Okay. Can you lend me your, say, screwdriver? Okay. And then you give the screwdriver to that person and that screwdriver never comes back. Okay, story of my life. Okay, everybody, thank you for your participation. Thank you for this therapy session. Uh, we're going to continue. So that's the snapshot for you, just to activate the knowledge on the, what's going on? Okay, and there's the conversation. Would you mind? 
and uh, we have two people having a conversation. So for this, I need one man and one woman, one boy and one girl to help me read this. Who wants to participate? Selena, now one boy, please. Katia, uh, sorry, Katia, too late. <laughs> but we need uh, one man, one boy to read this, please. Who wants, who wants to try? Boris, okay. Boris, you're going to be Rod, and Selena, you're going to be Jana or Jaina. I don't know if it's Jana All or right. Jaina. Okay. Uh, Boris, you begin. Okay. Uh, hello. Hi, Rod. This is Jana. <laughs> oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend's wedding this week. I love to take some pictures for this website. Would you mind if I borrow you a new digital camera? Mm, no, that's okay. I guess I don't think I need I need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, had you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Um. Sure, it's, a couple of times. It's uh-huh. Uh -huh. Would it be okay if I pick... Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. Sure, I, a couple of times. Would it be okay if it is if I pick it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> Poor Rod is he's not convinced about it. So okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Rod says hello. And Jana says, Hi Rod, this is Jana. Rod says, Oh, hi Jana. What's up? Jana says, I'm going to my best friend's weddings the wedding this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Rod says, Um, no. That's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Jenna says, thanks a million. Rod says, sure. Um, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Jenna says, uh-huh, sure, a couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? And Rod says, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so he's not he's not really convinced about it. So it's a new digital camera that he has. And digital cameras, they can be expensive, very expensive, depending on the brand and the, and the, and the type of camera. So... That's a conversation right there. Would you mind? Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the conversation? Okay. No questions about the vocabulary? Nobody? Okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. it's okay. Okay, Katia. Okay, Katia. And then Nadia. What is the meaning borrow? Borrow. Borrow. Okay, no problem. Borrow. There are two things that you do. Okay, the thing is, in Spanish, we have the verb prestar. But in El Salvador, we use the verb in the wrong way. Because in English, there are two different verbs. There's the verb lend, and there's the verb borrow. Okay, when you lend, you give. When you borrow, you receive. That's the thing. So if I lend you money, I give you money. When I borrow money, I receive money from you. That's the idea. But the thing is, in El Salvador, we say lend, prestar, borrow, prestar. But that is incorrect. And I'll tell you why. People sometimes say in El Salvador, mira, yo no tenía dinero, así que me tocó prestar. But that's incorrect. <laughs> Eso está incorrecto porque si uno no tiene dinero, no puede prestar. Puede pedir prestado, más no puede prestar dinero. Entonces, en El Salvador, cuando nosotros hablamos así, en realidad lo dec decimos algo incorrecto. ¿verdad? Usted puede prestar dinero si da dinero prestado. Y si necesita dinero, le pueden prestar dinero. ¿okay? Es dinero que uno recibe prestado. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Lend es prestar, es dar. Borrow es to receive something, okay, is recibir prestado. That's the difference. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Nadia, and then Dennis. I, I never seen that 
example. Um, in what is the mean? Um, is a uh, sort of complicated. Sort of. Okay. Sort of means kind of. Sort of. Kind of. It's like saying algo, más o menos complicado. Okay, algo complicado. So it's sort of complicated. It's algo, algo difícil, algo complicado, right? Sort of, kind of. Okay. Uh, Dennis. I have a question about um, uh, the the word in Spanish prestar. Mm -hmm. If if to say prestar in both cases is wrong. Mm -hmm. What's what's the right way to to say prestar in Spanish? No, no. It, I mean, prestar is okay if you give something. Prestar dinero, you give the money. Prestar un CD, you give the CD to the person. Okay. The problem is that in Spanish we say eh, le presté aquel dinero cuando uno lo recibió en realidad cuando uno dice le presté dinero quiere decir que uno lo dio eso tendría que ser so the thing is it's not that it's both wrong one is correct and the other one is incorrect so in Spanish we have prestar and the other form should be pedir prestado those are the two forms so in English you have lend which is prestar and then we have borrow which is pedir prestado o tomar prestado also so when a person says for example can I borrow your camera? It would be something like, puedo o puedes, okay. Puedo tomar tu cámara prestada, okay. That will be it. Let me use the initial question mark. Puedo tomar tu cámara prestada o me prestas tu cámara, right? Can I borrow your camera? You can say also, can you lend me your camera? is something like me prestas tu cámara ahí initial no no okay right there okay I'm sorry my keyboard is like in two different languages sometimes so can you lend me your camera me prestas tu cámara so that's that's the difference right there between borrow and lend Any other questions? Okay, I guess some of you are taking notes. There's a mosquito here. Okay, um, Jose Raivin. Yeah, I have a question. Sure. I don't understand why in both cases he's asking for, for the camera. Mm -hmm. I thought one was, uh, Barrow was for one action and land for another, but I can see in both cases, he's asking for it. For the, for the same thing? Oh, well, uh -huh. you, Is this... you can totally change, you know, the word and say like, can you lend me your jacket, for example? No, no, I mean, ah. uh, I thought the meaning of both, both birds was different. It is but different. I can see in the examples is the same. Because it's asking for, for something. Aha. Uh -huh. But the thing is, okay, so um, let's take a look. Borrow, receive. I'm going to copy it here. And then there is lend, give. So when you say, can I borrow, can I receive? your camera, just receive it for a moment because it's not my camera, it's your camera. So if I ask you, Jose Raivin, imagine that you have a camera, a very nice camera. So I say, okay, I need that camera for a day. So Jose, can I borrow your camera? In other words, can I receive your camera just for one day and I will use it and then I'll give it back to you? That's the meaning of borrow, okay? So the person who receives it is borrowing. I can also ask you, can you lend me your camera? Now you do the action. It's your camera, you give it to me. That's the thing. 
es prestar. En borrow, tomar prestado o pedir prestado. The idea okay, is very, very similar. Uh -huh. The idea is similar. But uh, essentially, it depends on the person who does it. Okay. If you are at the receiving end, you borrow. If you are at the giving end, you lend. That's the thing. So um, if you don't have any more questions, we're going to move on. And we have lesson objective 3.0. There's a chat entry right here. Very interesting. Okay, thank you. Um, by the end of this lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion in favors that you just like people asking for you, asking you for. I'm sorry. So um, here we go. And also, by the end of this class, you will learn how to make requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. It's basically just the explanation that we're going to uh, provide today because it's it's kind of long. So take a look. Requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. You're going to learn how to request for things. And uh, you have a scale right here. It goes from less formal to more formal. So probably the most or the least formal in this case way to ask for uh, or to request something is, can I borrow your pencil? Can I borrow? OK, can I borrow? You can also say, can you lend me? Can I borrow your pencil? Which is like, me prestas tu lapis? Or puedo tomar tu lapis prestado? Can I borrow your pencil? You can say, could you lend me a jacket? You have the difference right here. Can I borrow? Can you lend me? Could you lend me a jacket? You can say, is it OK if I use your phone? Do you mind? Te importaría? O te importa, sí? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Well, we don't use CD burners anymore. OK, that was like 15 years ago, maybe. <laughs> we don't do it. So would you do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be OK if I picked it up on Friday night? Estaría bien si lo paso recogiendo el viernes en la noche. So would it be OK if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Te importaría dejarme usar tu laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Me pregunto, right? I was wondering if you would mind lending me your car. Me preguntaba si te importaría dejarme usar tu carro. That would be very, very formal. A lot of words right there. But it's possible. You can say that. Now, there are many different ways for you to request something. And right now, as you can see here, this is only a list. Okay? And this is the same list that you have in the manual that you can find in the website. Not in the website, in the platform. But how do you use these expressions? That's something that we're going to learn today and we're going to review tomorrow because we don't have much time. We have like uh, eight minutes. So how does it work? I'm going to go and explain one by one all of these cases. And uh, there are some exercises at the end of each piece of explanation. So take a look. These are requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. Part one, requests with if clauses and the present tense. So pay close attention right here. When you have, is it OK if, and do you mind if, you continue with a clause in present tense. Pretty simple, OK? Just remember, try to memorize them. If it's, is it okay if, then the subject and a verb in present tense. Do you mind if, then the subject and the verb in present tense. And you have two examples. Is it okay if I borrow your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Mm -hmm. And then that's how you request. So what are you going to do right here? Following this structure, I want you to make the following requests using the words in parentheses. So the first one is, you want to use your friend's computer. So you begin with, is it OK if, who wants to try? Saul. Hey, Saul, long time no see. <laughs> it's because I, I have it in my house. You're not in your house. Ah, you haven't been in your house. Okay. All right. So, Saul, and for the next one, we have Nadia. So, the first one. Okay. The first one could be, it's okay. Is, it is okay. Is it okay? If, 
okay. sorry, is it okay if I use your computer? Totally, okay. Is it okay if I use your computer? There you go, you can see it here. You use, is it okay if, then the subject and then the present tense. Is it okay if I use your computer? Thank you, Saul, that is the correct request. Uh, Nadia, the second one, you want to open the window. Do you mind if? Um, do you mind if I open a window? Okay, do you mind if I open the window? Okay, totally. Do you mind if I open the window? And Ayanira is asking, teacher, could you send us this material of class to the chat on WhatsApp, please? Absolutely. Y para que no se me vaya a olvidar, lo voy a hacer ahorita. Si no, después me va la piscucha. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it happens to me all the time. Okay, so just, just a moment. Si no, después se me va a olvidar. Ah, pero tendría que sacar capturas de pantalla. Ah, pues no, van a tener que confiar en mí que lo voy a hacer después de la clase, pero lo prometo. I will. Okay, so for the next one. Yeah, because these are not, these are not pictures. I will have to, you know, um, take screenshots and, and that makes it a little bit more complicated. So, okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Don't thank me yet <laughs> because I haven't done it, but I will, I promise. So the next one is, uh, you want to borrow your friend's jacket. Is it okay if, who wants to participate? Who wants to try? Katia. Okay, I try. Okay. I try. It is okay if. I, is it okay? I, I, is it? Because is, it's a question. Is it? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry. Is it okay if bor I borrow your friend's jacket? Aha. Uh -huh. Nada más que un pequeñito problema ahí. <laughs> Le está, le está preguntando directamente a su amigo. Si usted le dice, is it okay if I borrow your, your friend's jacket? Le está pidiendo permiso a su amigo para agarrar la, la chaqueta de otro amigo de él. Ah, okay. Is, it, is it okay if I borrow your jacket? Ajá, that's better. Is it okay if I borrow your jacket? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. totally. Thank you, Katia. That is correct. Okay, is it okay if I borrow your jacket? Okay, good. Alejandro Quintanilla, you want to read the newspaper when your friend finishes. So you ask, do you mind if? Do you mind if I read the newspaper when you finished? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I read the newspaper when you finish? Okay, yes. that's good. Okay, everybody, that's how you use it. So remember, when you begin with, is it okay if, and do you mind if, you just continue with a subject, which is normally I, and then the present tense. Do you mind if I use your computer? Do you mind if I open the window? Is it okay? Sorry, is it okay if I use the computer? Do you mind if I open the window? Is it okay if I borrow your jacket? Do you mind if I read the newspaper when you finish? And so on. What time is it? 8.59. Wow, time flies. I'm just going to explain the second part and then we'll continue tomorrow. So what about this one? Requests with if clauses and the past tense. Okay, now it changes. Pay close attention. When the question begins like this, would it be okay if, and would you mind if, be careful because it's not the same as the previous one. I'm going to go back. The previous one was, is it okay if, and do you mind if, but now we have, would it be okay if, would you mind if, estaría bien si, o te importaría si, when you have would at the beginning, and then you have if, then you have to use the past tense, not the present tense. You have to use the past tense and you have two examples. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday? Now look, the verb is in past, not in present form. Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? That's the idea, that's the structure. So remember, if it begins with would and also you have if, you use the past tense. Would it be okay if, etc. Would you mind if, and after that, the past tense. Make the following request. Use the words in parentheses. We're going to practice this. So uh, you want to use your friend's computer. About this one. Now you have to say, would it be okay if, who wants to try? This is the final exercise today. Jose Raivin. Teacher, I have a question. What's your question? 
can you give me the meaning of the first uh, sentence in Spanish, please? Because I don't understand what you what mean he's asking. Secret. What he ah, you uh, want to use? You want to use your friend's computer? Usted quiere ocupar la computadora de su amigo? No, 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 no. I mean the examples. Ah, the examples right here. Would it I be don't okay? understand the meaning of that sentence because uh -huh. it's asking for something that has happened. I don't understand. So uh, the first one, this one, would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday? It's because in uh, Spanish, no. it, well, uh -huh. I, I understand that it's asking, está bien si lo recogiera. Uh -huh. no, exactly. No, so. this, is, this is only the form. The past tense is the form but it's not the same meaning this is not about the past i think that's that's what makes it a little bit confusing this is not the use of the past it's only the structure and the translation that you just gave me is okay estaría bien si lo recogiera el viernes estaría bien si me lo prestar o si me prestaras verdad tu cámara correct that's the form in english you have to use the structure of the simple past but the meaning is not the past, okay? But yeah, that's that's how it is. That is correct. So what about the first one? You want to use your friend's computer. Who wants to try? Erika. Okay, number one, teacher. Hello, number yes, one. Yes, number one, yeah, okay. totally. Uh, would it be okay if I use your, I use, your friend computer uh but again <laughs> you're asking your friend directly um would it be okay if i used i used um sí porque si no le está pidiendo permiso para a su amigo para I, ocupar la compu del amigo de él entonces sería i use uh, uh, i don't it, know ah okay i used Let's see, uh, Dennis, uh -huh. Dennis is going to help us, but okay, the structure uh -huh. is, is almost correct. Just at the end, there's a little problem, but thank you, Erica. Dennis? Okay. <clears throat> With the first one? The first one, yeah. Um, uh, would it be okay if I used um, your computer? Your computer, correct, okay. Would it be okay if I used your computer? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Because you're asking your friend directly. So thank you, Erica, and thank you, Dennis. That is correct. So what about the second one? You want to open the window. Saul. Okay. Would you mind if I opened the window? Would you mind if I opened the window? ¿Te importaría si abriera la ventana? That's right. Thank you, Saul. That is correct. The next one, you want to borrow your friend's jacket. Who wants to try? Katia. Okay, teacher. Ah, oh, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Will well, it be okay if borrow well? If I borrow. You check. You, if I borrow, mm -hmm. you check you jacket. Would it be okay if I borrowed your jacket? Uh huh. That's right. Very good. Okay, Thank you, Katia. And Alejandro, Thank the last you, one. Welcome. You want would to you turn? Mind? Okay. Would, <laughs> would you mind if I turn off the air conditioner? Would you mind if I turned off the air conditioner? Okay. Thank you. That is good. Now, if you notice, everybody, you use uh, the first part of the question, and after that, you use the subject, which is normally the subject I, and then the verb is in the past, in the past, in the past. So, as a summary, okay, when you say, is it okay if, and do you mind if, you use the present tense. Is it okay if I use your computer? Do you mind if I open the window? But when you use, would it be okay if, and would you mind if, you have to use the past tense. Like, would it be okay if I used your computer and would you mind if I opened the window and so on. Tomorrow we're going to study this. Would you mind and Jaron? But that's different. Okay. Um, right now we're going to stop here and don't worry, you just asked me for this information. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. Via WhatsApp. So everybody, thank you. Thank you for your participation. You participated a lot today. I'm really happy, really happy about it. And um uh, tomorrow we'll continue with this topic and we're going to do some extra exercises just for you to practice. Okay, so uh, thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow.
Good night. See you tomorrow, Tisha. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.